Hello everyone, it's Miss Perrin here. Welcome to our maths lesson for today. Multiplying two digit numbers by a one digit number using pictorial and concrete resources. Now that means that we're going to be using deans or counters. If you haven't got those things in your house, please don't worry. You can always draw the deans out or you can use some things that are lying around your house. Maybe you might have some a lot of buttons or some pasta. That's fine. You can use those for this activity as well. So part one is going to explain how the method for multiplying twos by one digit numbers. So the first write the number sentence out in its numeral form. Then we multiply the ones, then the tens and add the two answers together to find the product. So as you can see in my picture here, I have got two tens deans and three ones. So 10, 20, 21, 22, 23 times by two. Now looking at these instructions, I've already written down here the numeral form. So this is the pictorial form and this is the numeral form, means I'm using numbers for this one. Step two is to multiply the ones first. So I don't need to look at my tens right now, only the ones. And I have got three multiplied by two. 3 times 2 is quite an easy calculation. You can do that on your fingers, counting in your 2 times table. 2, 4, 6. The answer to that part would be 6. Step 2. So I've done this one. Let's tick them off. Step. Multiply the tens. So I've got two tens here. I haven't got any tens in this column. Is this number going to be 2 or is it 20? Have a think about that. How many do these represent? OK, you're correct. It's 20 because each of each one of those Dean sticks represent 10. So 10, 20. Now I've got 20 multiplied by. No tens and only two ones. So 20 multiplied by two. What is 20 times two? Now, I don't know my 20 times table, but I do know my two times table and I do know my tens. So which one of those would help you in calculating 20 times 2? We can use our two times table and just make it 10 times larger. So 20, 40. Now we have done this step. And the final step is to add these two answers to get together to find the product. So we need to add together 40, add 6. What is 40 add 6? Put 40 in your head and count on on your fingers in ones. 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46. The answer, the product, is 46. So remember, the first step is to write the sentence in numeral form. I've done that already here, but let's go through it together. We've got one, two tens, so 10, 20, 21, 22, 22, multiplied by no tens and four ones. One, two, three, four. So in numeral form, we have done that. It is 22 multiplied by four. The next step is to multiply the ones first. So I've got two multiplied by four. Two times four. You can use your four or your two times table here to help you answer this. I'm going to use my fours. Four, eight. The next step, we've done that one. The next step is to multiply the tens. I've only got two tens deans here, which means I've got 10, 20. I haven't got any tens deans in this side of my calculation. So it is 20 times by 1, 2, 3, 4. 20 times 4. I'm going to count up in multiples of 20. 20, 40, 60, 80. I've done this section. And now the last thing to do is add the two answers together to find the product. So I've got 8 plus 80. I'm going to start with the bigger number first, as we usually do. 80 plus 8. 
You can have 80 in your head and count on 8, which would give you 88. Now try the multiplications that are on your home learning using the same method here. Once you are done, come back to the video for part two. Welcome back for part two. Well done for doing those questions that were set for you in your home learning. What we would like you to do next is have a look around your house and find some concrete materials for your next task, some real life objects. Can you find pasta, rice, buttons, pencils, straws, anything that you might have a lot of and have a go at creating your own multiplication sentences with tens and ones multiplied by a, by a um, single digit number using the same steps that we just did here. Please get your grown-ups to take photos of that work and send it to us. We'd love to see all your fabulous maths. Once you have done all your maths work today, have a, have a little reflection of how you feel you got on with today's work on the progress line. Do you feel that you're a one? So you, you really didn't understand this and you might need some support. Or do you think you're a five, that you understand this really well and could coach other people? Or maybe you're somewhere in between. Have a think about where you think you are on the progress line today and write this little reflection in your book. See you tomorrow for part two.